Welcome back to the channel folks. I'm Amber. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as we continue to play along with Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We're going to try to wrap up Navaria here. We've got to travel over to Peak 15, get some more fighting out of the way, and then hopefully we can be done with this planet. So as a quick reminder, we're on our way to confront Matriarch Venezia, which is Liara's mama. And we're going to see how this goes. Keep going here. Try not to get too distracted along the way. Sorry this part isn't that exciting, driving never is.
There we go. Finally back to the real world. Alert, all Peak 15 facilities have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Got it. Right, the last second. Back online. Yeah, I hear ya. This part always kind of reminds me of the first Resident Evil movie. Because you're kind of. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? Going against they the They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. Those little green buggers are annoying. You do realize you're shooting at the glass. Right now. Oh, what the hell were those fast? Things? Xenobiology is not my field. Maybe someone in the labs knows. Came up behind me, huh? Girls, you're shooting at black. Isn't that super smart? Clear. Engaging 
target. Area secured. For those of you that are wondering, those are called Rachni. We'll learn about those here very soon. Shepard, that is a backup power system for the station mainframe. Can we fix it? Get this place back online? Critical startup error. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Manual boot required. Eat this! Whoops. Sorry. Alright, we're gonna do a little puzzle here. I I always do it manually, I don't like to spend my uh my uh omni gel on it. <laughs> and this is a very um common puzzle. It's called the Towers of Hanoi. And I am very good at doing this. You just have to move one stack to one of the other places, but you can only put small pieces like on top to of bigger pieces. Facility. Would you like help? How do I shut this thing up? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Navy. One moment, please. Service record confirmed. Due to the current emergency, you are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely, or in the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you unleash to sleep. Nice. What do I need to do to get the power back on? The valves to the helium-3 fuel line must be opened. This can be done at the controls on the reactor assembly proper. What are the landlines, and why are they disabled? The landlines connect my mainframes here at Central Station to the various sub-facilities of Peak 15. This allows the crew to remotely access my databases from the comfort and security of their labs. When emergency protocols were implemented within the hot labs, the cabling was automatically ejected. 
How do I reconnect the landlines? The landlines are designed for easy reconnection. The router for the landlines is on the roof of operations. Simply activate the controls and the hardware will reconnect and reboot automatically. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Tell me what occurred immediately before you shut down. Stage 1 alert issued at Hot Labs. Contaminants released from Laboratory Pod Gamma. Emergency protocols implemented. Stage 2 alert issued at Hot Labs. Isolation 2 breached. Tram shut down. Landline to Hot Labs disconnected. Stage 3 alert issued locally. Contaminants in tram tunnels. Station shutdown and evacuation initiated. Code Omega sent. What sort of contaminants escaped? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. The creatures we've encountered here, did they come from the labs? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. Why were you taken offline? In the event Peak 15 must be sterilized for security purposes, my program and data are purged. They kill you if something goes wrong? My systems are permanently disabled. To be killed, I would need to be alive. I am merely a database program. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User <laughs> alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. So we've got to fix all these issues User before alert. we can continue. Landline connections are dis now exiting to the roof. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. We'll start with the landlines. Just because it was right there. Now it gets fun. It's so fast. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. I do not remember them being this fast before. User alert. Speed demon. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Online. How may I assist you? Oh, hold on. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging this you out. This is what I needed. Push the wrong system. All right. So now that should be working. Connections restored. Processing new data. User alert. Unable to connect to hot lab facilities. All right. That's all I need right now. Gotta go fix Very the well, reactor Commander. now. Logging you out. Alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Working on it. Now entering main reactor. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Heads 
heads up. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual well, okay. restart required. Online. Connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? What's this about loose contaminants? Dangerous biological agents are present in the tramway decontamination chamber. The tram station has been sealed in the interest of crew safety. Activation of the fail-safe plasma jets is recommended prior to access. How do I activate the fail-safe system? Controls for the fail-safe systems are located in the security checkpoint outside decontamination. User alert. The fail-safe system is currently inoperable. What would it take to get the decon fail-safes operating again? There is a hardware fault in the control system. This can be repaired on-site using a standard Omni tool. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. And this is this next part is one of the reasons why I put so much effort into my tech skills. Because we're gonna need that in order to repair the decontamination stuff. Otherwise you have a slightly large bite on your hands because there's a lot of those things. Contact Shepard. Now entering decontamination and transit hub. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. They're locked in. The door could be finessed. It appears that the trams to the subsidiary state over there. I'm going to try it first manually, and if I fail, then we'll just use Omni Gel. And there you go. Stop shooting through the walls! 
not gonna work. Not the way you want it to, anyway. Control group loose in the. They're in. We can't escape. Up the tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the struck. Without why you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here. Damn shit. God only gives you one life. Many Solarians believe in a wheel of life. Your people call it reincarnation. My people have a similar philosophy. Ah! Those little bugs. Area secured. More annoying than the big ones. Here's our ride! Departing Central Station. Destination, Rift Station. at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. So I always do this part in a very specific order to make sure that I get everything done. And there is a little bit of wiggle room in that um, so just bear with me here at first you only have one path but there's gonna come a point here pretty soon where you can take a couple different paths stand down sorry we couldn't be sure what was on the tram can those things work a train's controls? Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot, but I'd like to know who you are. Call me Shepard. I was sent to find an Asari matriarch. Benezia? Yeah, she came through here. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out and he ain't all there anymore. The first we knew, the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. I'm packing fire and steel. They want to fight with claws and teeth? It's their funeral. You got my support. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Benezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. A matriarch has the skill to keep herself alive for a long time. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick, stable one. Something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Listen, I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. I just wanted to offer some deployment advice. You're lucky these things are dumb animals. Three coordinated guys could take this place. Have you checked the layout yet? Easily defensible by a few people. That's not counting the automated defenses. Maybe I was wrong. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. 
He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. They made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Go, go, go! Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. They always attack here? It's an obvious kill zone. Their only other option is over the mountain and down through the ducts. And they freeze like everyone else. I don't know why they keep drawing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. So despite all that good information he just gave us, Matri Finesia is not in the hot maps. <laughs> she is in the secure lab. I believe. Or the quarantine labs. Something like that. So the hot labs is part of a side quest, which we will get to later. From. Were they in the lab? I never went in the high security areas. You're not going to go to the hot labs, are you? A member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. Think you could translate that into galactic? It's a genetic thing. Forget it. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Ialis from the University of Arrhaeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? No need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me, and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. I was sent here to find an Asari matriarch. Surprised? One has visited recently. Furtively. There are rumors she has gone to the hot lab. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis.
What? No! Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah, is there something you need? I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ialis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. What do you want? I've had a long day. Don't piss me off. Yes, I'm sorry. I haven't had much sleep lately. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. Suit yourself. I'm just trying to avoid an incident. How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralis' guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. I've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy. Irrational. Are you the doctor here? I'm a doctor, but not the doctor. My specialty is microbiology, not first aid. We had a medic, Dr. Sala, but he's... We lost him. The automatics can handle basic treatment. Mira runs them. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. Makes sense. She seems to regulate everything else up here. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I need full cooperation if I'm going to help. You want these people to live? If not, I'll walk out of here. No, wait. It's a bioweapon. Based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Do you imagine that distinction makes this ethical? Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. You made this but can't cure it. Don't you people take notes? Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something.
Okay, now that I've been walking around, okay, this is definitely the secure lab. That's where the matriarch is. So back to this restricted area. And then over here, the quarantine lab is where we're going to end up going to help out the doctor. Which is technically like doing a Paragon mission, but even though we're playing as Evil Renegade, I still want to make sure we're doing as much as possible so we're not knocking ourselves out from getting experience and rewards and all that stuff. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. If we survive, your employers will want a report from me. I wonder how much insurance they have on those scientists. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. If that's the only way you'll let us in, I agree. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. find out about them, didn't you? Are you trying to be cryptic, or are you just nuts? I wish I were crazy. It would be easier. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. They found it in a derelict ship. An egg waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. I heard you were at the Hot Labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Dr. Zonmua. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram. And I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. The only thing you could do was save yourself. Of course. That is perfectly true. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Gotta keep the mood light. I mean, if you don't laugh, you'll... Yeah, you just have to. I used to have nightmares like this. Too many cheap horror vids before lights out. You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade.
Your mission ends here, Shepard. What the hell? What happened to Ventralis' men? I didn't have permission to come in. He got in my way. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! Out of there. That door's locked. How can I get in? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have I'll be leaving now. Yeah. If you take a look at the map. I don't know why these flags keep popping up. Anyway. Um so this maintenance area that's what he's talking about right here that leads to the secure lab this is the lab where Benezia is and then if you notice this is back at the tram and there's an elevator to the hot labs which is where everyone said she was she's not there and then the elevator back to the science station if you go through the science station that restricted area I mentioned will lead to this elevator which then gets you to this lab so you have two ways to get to the lab, and then we also will eventually go to the hot labs, but I always save that for after we visit Miss Benezia. So we're going to go back first to turn in the cure to the doctor and get his pass to the maintenance area, because that is the easiest way to get to her rather than trying to go through the restricted area. So we are going to do a little back and forth here to get to her. Going through the restricted area, there's like turrets and stuff you have to get past. It's much easier to just go through the maintenance area. And then you'll be coming back to here anyway. Or going back out to the main entrance so that you can get to the hot labs. You definitely want to drop off this quest before you go after Miss Benezia because you will not be able to come back here later. Is that the cure? You did it? I think so. It was hard to concentrate while dodging gunfire. You were attacked? I... I, I don't know anything about that. I hate conflict. I've never even fired anyone. I have my receptionist do it. Look. The guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? And I almost lost mine. Thanks is all I get? We need to be at peak to fight those aliens. Give us some Medigel. Of course, here. You didn't get these from me. Ventralis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Ooh, level up. Let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. Whoops, I'm gonna do my peeps too. Sometimes the fight with Benezia can go a little sideways, so I will recommend that you save right before you get to that point. So we're going to backtrack again to where we just were so we can go through the maintenance area and get to her without too much trouble.
so much loot around here. This is really hard. Got a perfect opening right there. Alright, there's Miss Venezia. We're gonna go ahead and save one more time. Here we go! You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. I have no idea what you're talking about, and I don't care. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. You won't look so smug with a hole in your head. Your insolence is a poor mask for your fear. Rude. That's cheating, I would say. Freezing me so I can't even fight back? It's not a fair fight. Okay. The key to this is keeping them off balance. Because you're just going to get a swarm from like all angles here. So keep moving so they can't hit you. Use your biotics. Change the layout of this room? It just used to be catwalks all the way around. Okay, let's. She's getting weaker. Got him. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. I expected better from the sorry commandos. Ooh, shots fired. I will not betray him. You will fight you... the power. You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. You chose to join with Saren. You just got more than you bargained for. It is a terror to be trapped in your mind to beat upon the glass as your hands torture and murder. I was powerless, nothing but a tool for Saren. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. 
Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Tell me where the Mugate is before I lose my temper. Of course, Commander. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are up my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. I don't think so. Knock her off her feet. That's the easiest way to do it. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. First you turn on the council, now on Saren. You're not loyal to anything, are you? <laughs> I suppose that is how history will know me. Mother! Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> Bye-bye, Mommy Dearest. Now time to figure out what to do with this thing. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Who am I speaking to here? We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. I didn't come here to talk to bugs. The children we birthed oh, were stolen you there? from us before oh, they could again. learn to sing. They are lost to silence. And their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen, they stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war, claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. All right. I don't think they'll give me much choice anyway. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Commander, I don't trust this thing. We know its kind are killers. 
The tank is rigged with acid. I recommend using it. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we, I, do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. Some foreshadowing here. We would here. seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. It was not the Rachni's fault. If they understand, perhaps we would return. They were being controlled. Kind of sounds like indoctrination. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. So clearly the renegade choice here would be to kill her, while the paragon choice would be to let her go. I'm actually going with the paragon choice, mainly because it's going to open up a different renegade choice that I want to take advantage of in the third game. So playing a long game here, so we're going to go ahead and let her go. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. There's a reason their kind were hunted to extinction. It's better to be safe than let a dangerous race loose. I'd like to have the Rachni on our side in the future. If you can trust them to stay there. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. See you later, Queen. Don't get into too much trouble. Yeah, see, look at that. Paragon plus 24 for that. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and find our way back here. So we can go to the hot labs where we will finish off the rest of her quote unquote children that she has given us permission to get rid of. Am I going the right way? I don't think I am. No, oh, yeah, okay. Alright, so notice we're back here at the trams. That elevator, which is now locked, is the one that would have led to where we were with all the scientists. Instead, we're going to go over to the hot lab. And then once we're done with this, this will be the last thing we do on Novaria. And then we'll head back to our ship. Are you here to secure the situation? If by secure you mean shoot every monster I see, sure. I am certain you are having strong feelings, but what has happened here, it is our fault. You understand? I understand that we'll be dead soon. Talk fast. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. They brought it here to wake it up? Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born 
carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Sorry for the delay, folks. I was having a little trouble with the recording there. Are you telling me I shouldn't kill these things? Uh, actually, I was to tell you the opposite. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. Uh, I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. I don't have time for this. If the Matriarch isn't here, we're leaving. Uh, I do not want so much to be here myself. But the Mira system, she will not let you leave. Is failsafe, you understand? You leave without arranging to eliminate Rachni, maybe they spread. Oh. Okay. I am feeling not so well. Here we go. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will give Mira the start. Ouch! Oh, that's not good. Codes. Thank you. Let's set this thing off. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry. The sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach in Laboratory Pod Gamma. The Neutron Purge system is functional, but has not been armed. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input, 875-020-079. Code Omega, local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. You've got two minutes to get out. You're gonna have to fight your way past some of these. But it's gonna look like there's more of them than there actually are. So freak out. You can also just run through here. Oh! You should just run through here. Yeah, we're just gonna run this time. I was trying to be fancy. And now we're all done! So to get back to the ship all we gotta do is take the tram back. It's not gonna make us go all the way back through the whole entire level to get out of here. So that's nice.
There we go. I was like, where's the fade out? What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? I won't be a puppet for the Asari. I give the orders around here. Understood? Forgive me, Commander. I was only trying to help. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? Three? No. Four. This is no joke, Commander. The Rachni were one of the greatest threats the galaxy ever faced. All I care about is stopping Saren. The Rachni don't matter. The mission must always come first. Just be aware that your actions can have far-reaching consequences. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Miss Williams, Commander, we Ooh. need to talk. If we do not resolve this situation now, I am afraid things might become... awkward. Oh, awkward, huh? I hope we can keep this civilized. I do not want things to become unpleasant. Because it's been so pleasant between us lately. Look, somebody in this room needs to make a choice. It ain't me, and it ain't you. Maybe we should try to work this out. I think we must. I may not know much about human relationships, but I understand the concept of jealousy. Jealous? Of you? You're not even our species. Perhaps that is why you feel threatened. I am a rival unlike any you have faced before. Hostility is a common reaction to the unfamiliar. Doctor, you keep smart-assing me? I'll show you what my hostile reaction is like. Both of you, settle down. We can handle this like mature adults. This is stupid. We're not married, Shepard. You want to get involved with some alien? Go ahead. It's none of my business. You're special to me, Ash. Yeah? Kind of hard to feel special while you're always chatting with your little blue friend on the side. Or is that my role? This is exactly what I was trying to avoid. I never should have told you of my feelings, Shepard. I have put you in a terrible position. I am sorry. I never meant for you to get hurt, but Ash is the one I really care about. I understand, Commander. Perhaps it is for the best. She is one of your own kind. I am sure you and Miss Williams will be very happy. I should... go. I need to... check on something. Dear God, I think I actually feel sorry for her. <laughs> After all that, being That's a, a surprise. bit of a bitch. A second ago, you seemed ready to break her neck. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Or yours. No one likes to feel like they're not good enough to get what they want. Let's not talk about this here. It's not really the right setting for intimate conversation. You know where to find me. All right, well, that concludes our run of Novaria. We also got thrown into a bit of a pickle there. Had to pick between our two chickadees. But we're going to end it there for this evening, so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time, folks. Bye.